This is honestly my dream work from home desk setup that also happens to be a complete YouTube studio setup. From here, I can live stream, shoot YouTube videos, edit videos and photos. And on top of that, I've tried to make this desk setup as productive as possible so that I can save time and start creating content as effortlessly as possible. I'm gonna break down everything in this setup and let's start with the desk. Now, honestly, there's really nothing special here. The base of this desk is a standing desk, which I don't use much anymore for standing. However, it was the cheapest one on Amazon like three years ago and it had really good reviews. Originally, the desktop I had on this was the Ikea desktop for like $20, but I've upgraded and decided to spend $190 on just the desktop. And this is much sturdier, especially with all the expensive camera equipment and computers and everything on here. I really wanted to make sure that that whatever I had all my stuff on, it was going to be sturdy and hold it over time. As far as the computer goes, I'm using a MacBook Pro 16 inch laptop, 2021 version. And honestly, this laptop has been amazing for me over the past couple years. And I really don't feel the need to upgrade because it's done such a great job with all of my 4K files, all of my thumbnail editing. And so for me, this has really been a workhorse. Now, when I'm at my desk, I have this plugged in to my CalDigit TS3, and it is connected with these cheap mounts from Amazon. Now connected to the CalDigit, I have two different monitors. On the left hand side, I have the 32 inch 4K ViewSonic monitor. And this is an expensive monitor. I think it's around $785. And so it is pretty pricey, but this thing is really nice. It's 4K, the colors look great. And I really have loved this monitor. Now on the right hand side, I decided to go with the LG Dual Up monitor. And this thing looked really funky and I wasn't quite sure about it. Now the truth is, this is kind of like the perfect second monitor. It almost feels like I have three monitors because usually what I have is on this right hand side, I'll have Slack open maybe on the top half and then I'll have like my calendar open. Maybe I'll have a notes open and I can just have lots of things open up on the right hand side. Whereas on the left hand side, maybe I just go full screen on my video editing or I go full screen on something else. And it's kind of like the perfect setup for me as a content creator. Now, just underneath the monitors, I have this Grove made shelf knockoff. So it's not super expensive like the Grove made shelf is. The shelf is awesome because it covers a lot of the mounts that are on the back of the desk and it adds a little bit of storage space for my notebook and these lighting controllers, which I'll get to in a minute. Now for audio, I really wanted some good speakers so that I don't have to wear headphones all day if I'm editing videos or working on something. And so having the Kanto YU2 speakers have been absolutely amazing. I love the sound from these, they get super loud and they're on top of these speaker stands that were about $30 just to raise them up a little bit so that it's pointed a little bit more towards my ears. As far as the mouse goes, I have the Logitech MX Master 3. I used to have the Apple mouse that just comes with the computer, but I found that my hands started to cramp up over time as I would edit videos all day long. And ever since I upgraded to the MX Master 3, I have noticed that the cramping really doesn't happen. And so this has been such a worthwhile investment and it's only about 85 to $95. And then just besides that, I have the classic Apple keyboard. Now underneath to add a little bit of contrast to my desk, I have this black pad and I got this off Amazon for like $15. And this just adds a nice little look to my desk and really gives it more of that black and white vibes that I was going for. Underneath the shelf, I have my notebook for taking notes. And then I also have a couple lighting controllers for controlling the lights in my office. And then I have a little timer. And this thing has been a game changer for me. Basically, I just set this to like 15 minutes or 30 minutes when I tell myself to not get distracted and not take any breaks until that timer goes all the way down. And on top of that, I think it just looks pretty cool on my desk. Now the mic I'm using is the Rode Pod Mic, and this is the XLR version only. And then I have a 90 degree angle XLR cable that goes all the way up my white Rode podcast arm and going into my Rode Caster Duo. And I also have the Rode headphones down here that I can use to monitor my sound. And it's in the all white version. And I just think it looks really, really clean with this white desk setup. 
Now I have an entire video reviewing this entire audio microphone setup. If you guys wanna check that out, the link is down in the description. Basically, I love the way my voice sounds in this microphone and I love all the controls that I can do on the Rodecaster Duo with sound effects, playing music, and all of the manual sliders make it really easy to use. And honestly, it's just a fantastic setup that I'll probably be using for a while. Now let's talk about the camera setup. For the camera, I'm using the Sony a7 IV and the lens on there is a Sigma 28 millimeter 1.4 lens. And I absolutely love this lens. It's probably my favorite YouTube lens that I've ever used and this is for the full frame camera. And so you get that really blurry background and the 28 millimeters is kind of the perfect zoom range for me. Based on where my camera is placed at the very back of my desk, I still get this medium wide shot. And so if I wanna crop in a little bit, on my videos I can and then I can crop back out and I just think it looks so good. On top of the camera, I have the Sony K3M. And so when I wanna shoot my YouTube videos and I don't wanna live stream, all I need to do is plug in a cable from my Rodecaster Duo straight into the K3M. And then I can record onto my SD card, all of the audio from my pod mic into the camera. And this makes it really easy for the editors so they don't have to sync the audio to the video in post and just saves them an extra step. Now the camera is sitting on a Ulanzi U100 quick release plate ball head mount that is connected to the desk. And the quick release part of this makes it really easy to take the camera off if I wanna use it for vlogging or if I wanna use it for shooting videos around the office. Now there's two cables that are plugged into the camera. One of them is a power cable so I never have to change batteries and this thing can really run as long as I want to live stream for. Now on the other side of the camera, I have USB-C. You can plug that into your computer and now you can live stream or record videos up to 60 frames per second in 1080 HD. And I also like to get the 90 degree cable because now when I'm filming and if it's plugged in still, I can still see my audio levels while shooting videos. Now the lighting was a little bit tricky because I wanted to do something that didn't take up a ton of space. And I know a lot of us are in small rooms or small office spaces. And so you can't have like a huge dome softbox type of light. And so I found something that was really small, but also gives you a large light source and a large softbox, but keeps it compact. So the actual light that I'm using, which comes with the mount that connects to the desk is called the Godox ES45 key light. And then attached to the light is the Diffuse large circle softbox, and that was $75. Now, my favorite thing about this light is that you can take the controller off of the back of the light and then put that on your desk and make it really easy to dial in your lighting or to turn on and off your light from your desk without having to get up and try and fit yourself behind your desk every single time you wanna turn it on. Now with the camera and the mic both connected to the computer, all I have to do to go live on YouTube or Facebook or other social media platforms is go to streamyard.com, which is the sponsor of today's video. I love StreamYard because they really just make live streaming super simple. Really easily, you can bring on guests to your show, you can add text pop-ups, you can show different slides, you can even showcase other people's comments, all while having the customization to make it your own with the colors and your own branding. We've been using StreamYard for years and we love them. If you wanna check out their Black Friday sales or any other deals that are happening, go to streamwiththink.com or you can just check out the link down in the description. If you wanna see me walk through StreamYard and show you exactly how to start live streaming, then click on the screen and I'll see you guys in the next video.